I have to say that that like hit me um, when you're talking about like looking, you know, like getting memories from your past and like looking back and being like, oh, now I know this other thing about myself. Like as a queer person, you know, it's like I had like all of these things. And then like as an adult, like when I moved away from my very conservative family, um, looking back, it was like, oh, that's what that was. Like you didn't want to be friends with her. You wanted to date her. And like, you know, <laughs> like looking at like, mm-hmm. oh, mm, yeah, mm, things <laughs> yeah, I didn't you're... know about myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and, you know, I hadn't quite uh, put it in those terms because you're absolutely right. And I think that, you know, like we, we've had a we've had a lot of trans playtesters, um, mm-hmm. and the, I'm I'm a trans woman myself, and like it is, I, I've definitely seen it used very consciously to explore, um, to explore you know to explore trans identity. Like, what yeah. does what what is it like when somebody who thinks of themselves as a boy like finds themselves in a female body, or you know, vice versa, and yeah. what kind of yeah, you know, what is what does that do to you? What do you make of that kind of experience? Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. I hadn't, I had, I think you put it very well. I hadn't quite put it in those terms, but uh, it's, I think that's a lot of what's going on there. Yeah, I, I love that games can do that. Like, I, it's one of my favorite things about role playing games is just this ability to, you know, like, tell kinds of stories and then look at it and be like, oh, that's me. <laughs> like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean it to be that, but like, oh, I just learned something about myself. <laughs> uh-huh. Absolutely. Uh, and, and I really love, uh, th- cause there's a, there's a decent amount of magical girl games out there, uh, mm-hmm. right now. And like one of the core tenants of the magical girl genre is that self-discovery. And, and I love that it sounds like this game has that as, you know, one of its core mechanics, uh, which is just uh, f- phenomenal to to have that kind of front and center uh, instead right. of as one of the features of it's like this is, you know, like the big thing. Yeah, I do. I think you're right. Like a lot of them kind of have like your your mundane self and then your your magical self. And they're they're more separate other than, you know, like the responsibilities of managing both. But right. yeah, this sounds like they're much more intertwined as like, what is your identity? Yeah. And, and like literal self-discovery. It's right. like a literal interpretation of the, the core trope of the magical girl genre, which is really cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Ryan's all tingly. Uh, no. <laughs> Seriously. I'm like, like gripping, I wish, gripping my tea. I like, wish yes, people could like more. see like his face is like, <laughs> like the biggest, like, <laughs> oh, Ryan is so excited right now. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. 